Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this, this feels so wrong. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Retro Crazy. It's not medical time, but let's just say these for me are going to feature quite a bit. So what are we looking at today? So this parcel turned up not too long ago and this is from another YouTuber called Ginger Hippie Gaming. Link up in the top corner and in the description. Go check him out. There's a number of interesting videos in the channel regarding this and a number of other things. So what is going on? Well, he was one of a few people that was lucky enough to be able to clear out a very, very old unit that the fire brigade had broken the roof on because of a fire next door, sprayed full of water, the hole in the roof means pigeons and everything else gets in and everything was in an absolute state. That unit was an old computer store, storage unit or room next door or whatever. Big, very, very big. I'll pop up some pictures just so you can see. Now some big YouTubers here in the UK have had a number of items sent to them for restoration to keep these things going, try and salvage what could be salvaged. And when you see some of the things that have been thrown out, it's, it's an absolute crying shame. However, I've been lucky enough to get my hands on an item out of the unit and that's what's in here. So let's have a look and see what I got. So anything in here give you a hint yet? One very, very sorry looking Commodore 64. So I'm going to pop this out, get it onto the blue mat, and we can have a good look at what's going on. So here we are. It's out. It's, uh, yeah, first time me seeing it actually properly out. And I can't identify a lot of what's on here. I mean, little bits of spider's web, fine. Dirt, yeah. I'm going to guess that this is one of the areas where the birds were at. Oh dear. Um, this edge, I think, has been up against cardboard that's got wet. Um, they're on the back. If we have a look in the ports, oh yeah. That's at least one dead spider. Um, not looking much better in there. I'm not even sure what that is sticking out. Okay. And there is an address on the underside which I'm going to blur out. But on the underside it's yeah it's 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 looked better. I'll be honest, it doesn't feel too bad, but this is uh, a, <laughs> a bit of a mess. Yeah, now you can see the reason for these. So I think I'm going to reverse what I normally do. I am going to strip this down, but I'm going to clean everything first before we do any work on anything. I, I would like to see properly what we're working with, how much of, of this is going to come off, and we'll take it from there. So let's do a bit of a strip down.
So first look inside. <laughs> Lots of cobwebs. Carcass of a dead spider, very small one. Uh, yeah, whatever happens, these are going to need a good clean. I'm going to have to strip everything off. And that includes these, if I can get it to pop. Okay, I'll get that separately in a minute when I've not got the, the computer underneath. So it's still looking a little bit rusty. I'm seeing dead spider, dead spider. Yeah, oh dear. Oh dear, what on earth is all of this? Mmm, tasty. Right, let's get this keyboard out if we can. So, more dead spiders, carcasses of something, I'm not sure what. Whatever it is, everything is going to need to have a damn good clean. I'm going to have to strip off all of these keys. Oh yeah, looking underneath, the springs are a little bit rusty. We'll do our best to salvage what we can. I'm going to have to take everything apart and give this an inside out clean. So last thing to pop before we see the motherboard. Oh, this cardboard is horrible. And yeah, how many spiders can you spot? One, oh, one live one. Well, there you go. This little guy down here, not you, you're dead. This little guy down here, still alive, but this cardboard will be going. Um, yeah, they're, they're dead everywhere. Wow. Even the screws this low are very, very bad. So I'm going to get the motherboard out of this uh, lower frame and let's see what we're left with. I, I'm, yeah, I'm ditching this. I don't think I want to salvage this. So with the motherboard out and given a, an initial dust off, there are a number of areas I'm going to have to look at and some of them uh, more worrying than others. Unfortunately the new Super PLA, hopefully you can see that, let me zoom in, it's quite rusty and unfortunately that's both sides. Now. We do have a little bit of rust on some of the others, but nothing as bad as the, the Super PLA, unfortunately. And one of the DRAMs down here is also quite badly affected. So we're going to have a bit of work to do on this board. We can see a lot of corrosion sitting underneath the RF modulator. If we flip it over, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to have to dig into that. It looks like something was living there. I've got corrosion. Something was living over here. And we've got a lot of corrosion on the board here, across these pins, all over where we expect for the RF modulator. We've got some corrosion down here and a lot to clean and tidy up. So I think what I'm going to start by doing, I'm going to obviously lift the SID and the VIC-2. They're coming off so I can give the legs a clean up, see what the sockets are like. I am going to have to remove the Super PLA. I don't really have too much choice lift this out, give everything a clean. I'm going to take all the caps off. I'm going to lift off the RF shield and we'll give everything a clean. We'll just see what happens and where it takes us and see if we can get some nice shine back into this. I'll maybe use 
some vinegar up where we've got the corrosion see if we can lift some of that off as well and let's see if we can do something with this motherboard I wonder if the switch works <laughs> will we give that a go before we move on holy mother it still moves it actually doesn't feel bad at all I'm still going to spray deoxid into it I mean you can see corrosion on all the screws everything is oh, bit of mist lovely still corrosion on the screws there's still some of the uh, spiders webs to come off but let's see how we get on So there we go, that's all the rusty components off. Wow, the, uh, the RF modulator has certainly seen better days. I might be able to recover it. I'm going to have to pop the base of the can off, see if it'll clean up and if I can do something with it. This is all going to need cleaned. Uh, yeah, I've got a whole batch of chips that I'm going to have to do something with because these are very, very, very rusty. I hope I will be able to recover these. Certainly I'm gonna to have to socket everything. That's not actually too bad. Yeah, I think the SID needs a good clean up. And yeah, some of these hopefully will also clean up. I just don't know how well I'll be able to get into all the nooks and crannies to get them clean. For the memory, it may well be just easier to replace. But we will see what we get to and we'll see what happens. Next, I think this needs a dang good scrub. And the last of the infestation removed, because it's still appearing. Um, I am tempted to take this off, give the uh, underside of it a good buff back and just the paint to protect it it will allow me to get properly in and clean between everything as well because it's obviously quite recessed yeah it's it's slowly coming together i hope a lot of the legs are still quite contaminated i'm i'm, I'm in two minds whether to lift all the chips off and socket them but let's see what happens the solder certainly on the underside seems fine. The upper surfaces of some of the legs, as I say, are the ones that are causing me a little bit of concern. But let's see what happens. So the process to recover the chips, for example this Super PLA, is quite simple. You can see the legs on this side are quite shiny, not perfect, but quite shiny, by comparison to the other side, which is still very, very rusty. This is the first stage of trying to recover them. All I'm going to do is take a fiberglass pen and a brass, not a steel, a brass pen and I'm going to attempt to clean up the legs. So I'm starting with the brass. And once that's done, I'll move on to the fiberglass pen, which is much finer. And now the outside of the legs is much nicer, much neater and a lot shinier. 
and I just have to do the same with the inside. Now apologies for the noise in the background, our hamster has decided that she's now awake and it's wheel time. <laughs> so the inside of the legs is the same, so I'll be back in a second. And now with that all done, you can see that even inside the legs is a little bit cleaner and the main pins are a lot shinier, both sides now. So I have a few more chips to do, so I'm going to pop this to the side and crack on. So you see I've removed more components, I've taken the sockets off here because there was corrosion in them. Let me show you. You can see on the underside the corrosion there but also on both sockets there was actually rust on the sockets so better to remove and replace those and again this cap I don't know if you'll see that it is slightly bowed so it's starting to go so better to get rid and replace now the board itself is relatively clean but it's had a lot of contamination on it. We don't know what's exactly been dripping in here. You can see a lot of it is still badly discolored even after a, a wash with IPA. So I'm going to do something I've never done before. I may live to regret this. Remember I said that. Yes, this, this could go very, very badly. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm talking about this, hot soapy water, <laughs> oh dear, this, this, I, I have to be insane, uh, I'm not looking forward to this, but apparently you can do this, <laughs> oh dear, never done this before, this is a first, <sighs> sorry poor circuit board. It is real water, it is real hot water. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this, this feels so wrong. <laughs> well, if this doesn't work, I'm stuffed now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's give it a good, good old scrubbing. That's the whole point of this, isn't it? <laughs> This is just so wrong. Oh, now remember, I do a lot of this stuff so you don't have to. <laughs> if this works, fine. If it doesn't work, well. <laughs> oh dear. This, <laughs> this is just wrong. Okay, it's <laughs> most surreal experience. Well now we have a cleaner, if still very wet, circuit board. And this now needs to have the rest of the water displaced. Otherwise, we're just gonna destroy it. So out comes our classic isopropyl alcohol. And I'm gonna give everything a good clean. So with the motherboard all rinsed out with isopropyl alcohol, this now needs to get put to the side because this now needs to dry properly and let the isopropyl alcohol evaporate. So see you back in a bit. So while the motherboard is drying, let's, um, yeah, let's strip this and get all the keys ready for a good soapy bath. Well, that's everything apart and look at the state of this. Um, yeah. 
Now, the actual circuit board looks not too bad. It's going to need a clean. There is a little bit of contamination over here. So I'll give that a clean up as well. I'm hoping the carbon pads are still going to be functional. But the springs, yeah, not so good a story. There was one in particular I took off. It's just, there's no power to it. Uh, pretty much rotted all the way through more rust than uh, metal and there's a huge variation in the the tension on them some of them are fine yeah others not so happy so I'm going to see if I can find a set of replacement springs because I don't think there's much I can do for those so in the meantime I'll give this a clean and that big load of plastics will need a very very long hot soak in hot soapy water with some vanish oxy action we'll see if we can recover this as well because it's structurally it's solid it's just surface rust so see you after all this is done okay this is disgusting already so let's get scrubbing So I'm conscious of the fact we're running out of time for this video, so I'm going to stop here. Please join me for the next part. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next Retro Crazy.